What's up guys, Maniacs here, and welcome to the amazing odyssey of growing up. Now this game just came out today on Game Jolt, and I know there really isn't any description as to what the heck this game is all about, both on the page and right here on the main menu. But the thing that drew me to this game is because it's another one of those games that has an art style that I've never seen before. Um, kind of like when I played the chalkboard style game last week, which was uh, There's Something in the Corner, I believe that was the actual title of the game. Um, it was that horror game that I played last Friday, I believe, where you played as a little girl and it was like a chalkboard uh, drawing or whatever you had to go through and like find all the fuses well this one has a really cool design in the sense that sorry all of the uh, everything is done in like a cardboard style manner so if anybody's ever seen any of those old stop-motion style movies like a, a very good um, just a very good uh, kind of god I can't think of it. a very good like this uh, reference to that would be watching like something like Robot Chicken where you got like the little statues and everything that move very slowly and chalky and ground granted that's part of the show but they're like basically little action figures and every second they have to move the figure pause move the figure take a picture move the figure take a picture so it's kind of stuff like that or like Gumby would be another great reference to that as well so that's why I wanted to chew this game is because it's gonna like this cardboard style like graphics and actually be easier to show you now I don't know what the full version of this game out but yeah, this is what I was talking about right here. Now, I don't really know too much about what the story... Okay, there goes my dog. Um, but yeah, as you guys can see, everything looks like... It, it's Everything's very simplified. But it looks like stuff that you just find around your house and build a world with that. And that's what I really like. Now, I don't know what the developer actually used in order to build this actual game. I can't remember what engine it was. It wasn't the Unity engine, or at least it didn't show it when I actually launched the game. But I think it's just really cool. Like, the, the clouds and everything, those look like um, those little tissue papers that you used to use when you were in, like, school. Like, when I was in school, we used to have, like, all those different colors, and our art teacher would make us build stuff with that stuff. I don't know. I think it's just kind of cool. So what you actually have to do is uh, it's kind of a puzzle game. So you have to, like, pick stuff up or and move stuff around. Now, I don't know exactly how the game is going to work, um, but there's different things. Why does that... I can click that. But I also like my character because it looks like something that you would make in school. Like, I don't know if anybody ever used those little bobby pin things, but those little gold things that you can see... Um, on the other side of them, it's basically two hooks that you would stick through and then it would pop out on the other side. So if anybody's ever used like one of those big yellow envelopes, it's like, like type of wing things that would spread down and that would like hold it together. So it's kind of like that. I have no idea what I'm actually supposed to use. I don't have an inventory. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. If you press R, it restarts the level. Did not mean to do that. Um, Alright, so I need an inventory or something like that. Okay, there goes the dog. And then that thing falls down. So can I can I move this? How do I move this? That stick was the thing that was up, but he knocked it down. So I've got to figure out a way to... What? Oh, okay, I got a chain. What do I need that for? Can I... Can I use that on that? No? Okay. Hmm. Don't know what else I need. Can I use it on that? Nope. Okay. So it's kind of... Um, basically, you have to click and grab stuff. So this level might be... Oh, I bet I can do this. Let's... Let me put that on... The, nope. Come on. Put it on the... I'm guessing it needs to go on that hook, right? Or do I need the... There we go. Okay. Now how do I pick that up? Eh. 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 Walk this way. Uh. There we go. Okay. Now if I walk this way. Come on. Come on. Oh, I, I just got to click. Okay. And then can I... Nope. Nope. Can I... Can I tie it to this? Nope. That didn't do anything either. Hmm. Oh, that. There we go. Okay, cool. So there was a hook right there, a hook right there, and a hook right there on the fence post. And that allowed me to get through. Alright, so that wasn't too bad. I don't know how much of it I had to cut out right there. And then the bridge is going to break. Okay, so now I need to figure out something with the... Ah, oh, go away, spider. You can fuck off. Alright, so I don't know what that is. And it looks like there's a stick right there. Um, Alright, let's see what else we've got here. So do I need, like, spider string or something like that? Or I don't even know what this is. Uh, do I need something... Come here, spider. I need to hit you. Come here, spider. Yeah, let's let's hit the spider. Can I hit the spider? No, I can't. I don't even know what this thing is that I have. It would be nice if it would tell me, like, if you clicked on it and it would have some type of description of what it's supposed to be. Because I don't know exactly what some of this stuff does. Wait, did I just... Hit the spider. What? Am I... Can I do some... Oh! Can I combine the... Ah, there we go. Now use the axe on the tree, right? There we go. And then... Can I, can I, do I have to use the axe again? I do, okay. So now I'm going to basically build another one. Now I'm basically kind of playing Minecraft here. Um, alright, now what do I do with these? 
Uh, what do I do with these? What do I... Huh, okay, so I'm not very good at this type of stuff. But I really like the graphic style for this game. The music's cool, it's pretty, you know, it's got that really calm feeling. Do I need to, like, kill this spider or something like that? Because I, I have no problem doing that. Come here, you bastard, I want to hit you with this axe. Come here, come here, come on, fall down. Alright, now kill the spider. Kill it. Yes! Fuck you, spider. Suck on that. Alright, let's combine those. Put... Can I... Can I... How do I... There we go. Combine that with... Alright, so... There we go. Oh, that just broke. Oh, there... Can I climb across? There we go. Okay, so I didn't have to actually use the first log, but one log wasn't strong enough to allow me to get through. Oh, there's a boss. Hey, give me back my dog, you creep. What the hell is that even supposed to be? Oh, that's creepy as hell looking. I have an axe. Can I keep hitting that? I don't know what I... Oh, I got some candy. What does he have in his hand, by the way? Alright, I have... Do you want candy? Um. Oh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What? Can I... Can I just keep knocking? Do I need to knock this over on him? So he keeps picking up. Can I just hit him with the axe? No, I can't. Can I hit this? Huh, Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay. All right, so I'm starting to get it. All right, so what I have to do is knock this out. That'll give me another piece of candy, and then I need to knock this. And while that's happening, I got to give him the candy. Oh, and then a hand just shows up. Okay. Oh, and now my dog is chained back up. Oh, why is uh why why is there a hand? That's that's kind of creepy. Uh, is this... Ah, there we go. Okay, so... Am I just, like, building the world again? Huh. Okay. Nope. What's going on with this? Ah! Wait, why did he run off? Oh, so do I have, like, god mode on now? Why, why, why do I have a hand? I can't grab anything, actually. Oh, there we go. Does that need to go up there, right? Oh, okay, so then he auto-does it. Okay, this is kind of strange. Oh, this is slightly different now. There's no more trees. Uh, I can do... Oh, I'm like building the world. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. I'm like building the game. Is more or less what I'm doing. Right? Isn't that what I'm doing? What else do I need to do? Is that guy that moves, and then there's this thing over here, right? Can I grab... There we go! So I'm more or less building the world that I went through before. And then he's automatically gonna do the whole level. Okay, this is weird. Whoa. Raise the... Strength needed to push the obstacles. Okay. Okay, bye. That what the Hey, and there's my dog. Oh, okay. So that was kind of cool. Like developers, if you happen to watch this, that was pretty cool. I really like that style of graphics and everything because I don't know how you guys did it. I don't know if you just used a certain filter or whatever when you were building the game or if you actually went through the whole stop motion and took the pictures and just kind of implemented a game around it. That was still really cool. That thing at the end though, that was kind of weird, but I kind of get it because it was more or less, um, you you were like had god mode on, I guess is the easiest way to say it, or hand mode, I guess is the easiest way to say it. And when you were building the level, you could like pick stuff up and move it around. So it was kind of like, you have to play, you have to set up the level so that you could actually do it, and then you, you didn't have to go through the same emotions that you did before. So honestly, it wasn't that bad. There was a couple parts where I got stuck at, but that's just because I'm not the best person when it comes to puzzle games. I still do like puzzle games, unless they're like ridiculously hard, like I love Portal and everything. Um, but this was cool, and it was it wasn't a, it was a nice little story where you were just trying to get from point A to point B to try and rescue your dog from that evil creature thing. Uh, but once I finally figured out some of the puzzles, it really wasn't that bad. It was only three puzzles um, from start to finish, and then you had the the go the hand mode, I guess, at the end. So honestly, it was pretty cool. I liked the graphics more than anything. The music was cool, it was nice and calm. Um, it reminded me of an old cartoon that I used to, that I watched years ago, and I cannot remember what the hell it was. But it was kind of this style of like stop motion and everything with the graphics and all that stuff. Anyway, it was a cool game. So. 
so I don't think I missed anything. I think I got the whole game in there. Um, but anyway, I would like to see more from this because I think, like, I think what would be really cool is if there was like a horror game built around this aspect. Like, that would be cool. I don't know how you would do it. I don't know what you would do. But like this style of graphics or this art style with a horror game would be really cool. I don't know. That's just an idea that I have. But um, as far as like anything that I can suggest, there really wasn't too too many things. Um, some stuff with the hand thing at the part at the end, it didn't seem like you were actually grabbing it. Uh, but that really could just be just a slight bug in the game itself. But I'm pretty sure this was one of those. Um, this was another one of those Game Jam games, so more or less, if there's a little, a couple bugs or kinks or anything like that, it's not going to be perfect, and I'm pretty sure that's one of the things that the developer actually brought up in the description on Game Jolt. So, it's not going to be perfect, but honestly, it played really well. Everything was relatively easy, it was a fun little game, I like the story, I like the art style, but yeah, that's basically all the time I got for you today, guys, so let me know what you guys think of this game in the comment section below. Did you guys like it? Did you guys agree, you guys agree with me with this art style is kind of creative and unique, and I haven't seen anything like this? Um, and if you guys want to check the game out for yourself, there'll be a link to the game in the description below. And that's all the time I got for you today, guys. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Make sure to check out some of the other videos that I've done. And I will see you guys next time. Maniacs, out. Ah. Uh, oh, she's freaking the fuck out. That's actually kind of cool. And apparently I died. Okay.